Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Exceeding the Crown. If you don't know, my name is Brittany Joy, and here on Exceeding the Crown, we talk about life, we talk about pageantry, and we talk about platforms. I have a lovely Mrs. Queen coming for you guys, so let's go. Well, hello, and how are you? I am great. How are you? I'm good. So, I mean... You're an exceeding crown expert at this point. We, you know, we love you here. So, for anyone that may be new and doesn't know, do us a favor and introduce yourself. Tell us your name, your new title, mm -hmm. and where you're calling from. I am Michelle Miller, your Mrs. American Beauties Plus Queen 2021, as well as your Miss Congeniality. And I am calling in from Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis. Okay. I'm gonna just let y'all I'm gonna link our other interviews right up at the top so they can already catch up okay so they can catch up on what amazingness you bring to the show so let's get right into your on stage question your on stage question is if you could call up anyone in the world and have a one hour conversation who would you call oh that's a good one are they living or or dead can do I have options you have the option. I mean, yes. I mean, the bones are still in the ground, probably. So they're still in the world to me. So okay, okay. as you please. <laughs> I accept that. Um, I would call my grandfather. He's He's mm. been gone for 10 years. He passed from lung cancer. And he was such an inspiration on my life. And I would just love for him to see where I am now mm. and the things that I have done. And just to, I mean, there was so much wisdom that he shared. But you know, when you're younger, you don't grab it all. Yeah. Um, and so just to sponge, you know, for an hour or more of his time would be the big, biggest blessing to me. Absolutely. And one thing that I like what you said, you know, when you're young, people are giving this wisdom. We don't take advantage of the wisdom that is being bestowed upon us the way we should until almost sometimes it's too late. Yes. And now you have to try to go dig up that wisdom again and figure it out. And it was like, yeah. Young people, if you're watching this, listen, okay? Listen. Be wise. Don't yes. do the mistakes we did. Be <laughs> wise. Okay, so let's move on to your pageant question. So as a plus queen, where would you like to see plus size pageant pageantry in five years? I would like to see it grow. I didn't know until the last year and a half that there were even plus size pageants. I had no mm. clue. And so I was trying to squeeze myself into these little girl pageants and trying to you know crazy diet and yo-yo and because I wanted to be involved in pageantry mm -hmm. and what I just wasn't making the cuts sis. it just wasn't <laughs> it just wasn't happening and then a girlfriend of mine told me she was like have you ever heard of this and she told introduced me to royal productions and I was like no um and then looked it up and saw these amazing women both on the national side and the plus side and I don't think the word is out there and I think mm -hmm. so many people are unaware because all that we see is what we see on TV, which is not yeah. plus size pageantry. No. And so I would really love to see it, you know, double, triple, quadruple in size, just so that people can see no matter your shape, your size, whatever, there's a place for you. Yes, I 100% agree. Um, even when I do pageantry, people are so surprised. And I'm like, because, um, I'm not a size zero. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a cute a little thing. Oh, you're cute. Oh, but this ain't a size zero and I'm not you know we also go to short side we not five nine five ten the, like that's just not who I am and I as well as age I feel like a lot of people think you know that's for the young girls and one thing I love let's go back so if you haven't if you don't know we are part of Royal Productions we're both part of Royal Productions two different pageants but we have the same CEO. One thing I love about our CEO is making sure that there's a place for everybody and everyone knowing that there's a place for you. No matter, like you said, your age, your size, um, where you come from, even how I love it, where even with disabilities, like we have so many women who compete, which quote unquote disabilities. And sometimes like, you would never even know. I was like, <laughs> like, yes. um, and it's it's so so amazing that everyone has this opportunity so I agree with you I hope like in five years people who feel as though that moment passed them 
or feel as though they never really will have that moment because, mm-hmm. you know, they're not a size zero, because they're not 5'10", because they had a baby early, or if they got married early, or all these other Um, protocols and restrictions that keep us from going from the ones that we kind of know we don't need Mm -hmm. to say any titles because I'm not trying to downplay anybody but to know that there is a there's a crown for you I love that absolutely so let us know what your platform is and why your platform is even more important to you now (laughs) my platform is the power to dream And it's all about empowering girls and young women to pursue their goals, their dreams, no matter their environment. And it really came about when I was younger, again, those pearls of wisdom that were being dropped into me by my my grandparents. Um, My parents divorced and I was kind of lost in the mix. They were going through their thing and I was an only child and just, you know, I I was a good kid. I stayed out of trouble. I got good grades. And so I just kind of bopped along, but there was no one saying, oh, you want to be a pageant girl? Go for it. Or, oh, you want to do this? Go for it. There was no one pushing me to dream Mm. and to pursue those dreams. And so I love having the ability to work with girls. I typically work with girls ages nine through 17 in my programming um, and saying, you know what? Sky's the limit. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Even if it's not there yet, create it. So it's so important for me. And I love, I'm so grateful now that I have this national title to be able to reach out on such a larger platform to say, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. Absolutely. So how can other people support you in your platform? Yes, they can register their girls for my programs. They're on uh, my, my website and they're on Facebook. They can, you know, support by donating cash. I mean, we always need money for the girls. We even give the girls scholarships to go to college their freshman and sophomore years. So we pay for their books or we pay, help pay for some of their tuition. So there are so many ways, you know, financially, if they want to, you know, donate time, we had an etiquette um, trainer come in and she trained the girls on etiquette. So she donated her time in that capacity. We are just always looking for opportunities to volunteer because I really think it's important. You will, you know, in pageantry, but just in life to give mm-hmm. back. And I think once you're, no matter what your circumstances, if you get out in the community, you're giving back, you're paying it forward, you kind of get out of your head of whatever's going on in your life and you just get the joy of giving back. So, you know, if there are opportunities for the girls to volunteer, to make crafts, to collect donations for shelters, I mean, we are all about it. So any of those opportunities that people want to reach out with, or like I said, donate or volunteer, it's there. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, all her information is in the description. I do like the one thing you said, like once you volunteer, you kind of get out of your head. Um, And one thing I think I've liked so much about volunteering and being out there is being able to connect with so many queens with so many different platforms, because all of us, no matter how open-minded we feel, we have biases and we have a box and I don't know everything. So be able to connect with so many people and to know that as well as there's so many other issues than just what we know. Yes. Um, it's, it's amazing. And for you to bring these girls along with you on this journey so that that way they can begin to understand and see the pearls of wisdom young (laughs) young and never to pick them up i mean i think it's great and it's amazing um and thank you so much for coming back on exceeding the crown you know i absolutely love you so much but before we go we always give our final advice so what would be your final advice for today mine is always never let anyone dull your sparkle because they can't handle your shine but it's always to believe in yourself just believe in yourself. And there's times when we always don't, and I get that, but I want you to just keep chugging along and keep pushing forward because no matter what you want to do, it's there. Just keep pursuing your power to dream. Awesome. You know, I love your final advice. Every time you say it, it just, it just brings me so much joy every time. (laughs) Well, once again, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. I love it. And I love you. (laughs) Fabulous.